Thank you. Other interesting business news, you have Walmart thinking they might buy out Vizio. Now, Vizio is actually one of the few independent TV manufacturers out there. There's, there used to be a lot more. Granted, spoiler alert, there's really two TV companies, or manufacturers out there. There's a lot of OEM manufacturers or white label instances where if you look at who's actually manufacturing the technology and actually making the OLED or LED panels, I mean, Sony and LG have a huge percent of the market in terms of manufacturing it. Then, of course, other companies will pay them some money and they'll slap on a different logo. But spoiler alert, those are the two of the biggest manufacturers. Now, it looks like this came to us thanks to Emma Thorne over on LinkedIn. The rumor is that they are looking to buy a TV company for more than $2 billion in their attempt to expand into advertising businesses. Again, they say this is citing unnamed sources. If complete, the deal will give Walmart access to a trove of customer data and ad space that would help them compete with Amazon, which I was going to say, I might be a little biased here in terms of saying you don't need a TV. Granted, the TV I have is from my dad when he was in college. So I think it was 1983 it was manufactured. Sony Trentron, that thing is a, it's darn near bulletproof. It's never going to break, which is why I like some vintage tech that's just built a little bit more robust. But I partially digress. They note that most of Walmart's U.S. revenue comes from its grocery business, which, yeah, that's terrible. In terms of an investment, one of the worst, this is why I suspect we don't see any grocery startups in our lifetime. The most of the grocery stores we see, they're all started decades ago, some almost 100 years ago. And the percent for profit in grocery stores is about 2%, which is always hilarious. We have politicians saying they're making too much money. Uh, no, they might be making a lot of revenue, but the profit, it is so, it's so close to going out of business. It's quite concerning if you're an investor in those companies, which is why more and more of these companies are starting to add on things that you can buy that aren't just food. That's why Target has a whole section for clothes and TVs, same with Walmart. That's why they also have a pharmaceutical division at pretty much every grocery store as well, trying to increase the more profitable sales of more durable products. Because again, I mean, in some of the foods, they actually take a loss. There's a reason every grocery store I've seen in my lifetime, and if you think about it, milk is always at the back, always. And it's usually at a loss in terms of they're losing money on that sale. It's what's known as a loss leader. So you go to the store and because you have to walk all the way back, to get to the actual milk that some people buy, <laughs> excuse me, they are hoping and praying that you walk past something that is much more profitable and you see it and you think, hey, this is an impulse buy. Maybe I'll buy this. Maybe I'll buy some Bud Light. Well, no one would realistically say that. Maybe I'll buy some Yangling beer when I'm at the big box mart. So they're really hoping you'll actually spend money on more profit things. Then, of course, there's a jewelry section at all these stores or many of these stores as well. So, yeah, they're trying everything they can to get out of the having groceries as the biggest component there. Now, groceries are important because granted, everyone needs groceries. But again, that's why they're trying to diversify more and more. Now, executives believe that the company's advertising business could be an effective moneymaker. And they also claim that the extra cash could be used to speed up shipping and other services. Now, they know that the US ad revenue for retail media is expected to jump nearly 30% this year. Jeez Louise, that's to 59.6 billion per insider intelligence, which is quite a lot. They note that Amazon has a 17% market share of the operating systems in smart TVs, while Vizio has about 8% per Parks Associates. So I was going to say, that is not a bad idea. If you want to start competing more and more against Amazon, Vizio already has an 8%. That's, that's not a bad idea. So it'll be interesting to see if they pull the trigger on this, because again, Walmart, they see the writing on the wall. They see the, they see the market's always evolving. They have a very good historic track record of making, adopting new technologies. They're actually one of the first co private companies in the United States to buy their own satellite so they can more effectively run the stores and do inventory planning and logistics for you know trucks and products. One of my favorite books, truth be told, is Made in America by Sam Walden, and he is a genius. He was the founder of Walmart and, of course, Sam's Club as well. I read that, I want to say, two, two years ago now? Probably, I was going to say, I never showed on the show, but I have a whole shelf upon shelf of books. Let me know if you're ever interested in a book review. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I think, again, given the direction, <laughs> excuse me, the direction Walmart wants to go and how much you could prospectively make from that, I I suspect they'll choose to go through this because again, for the long-term diversification of the company and an increasing, I mean, they just know the sales are already there, they're increasing, probably be a good business move. So I suspect they'll eventually go through that if they were to choose Vizio.
Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in again. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February. So if you click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also sharing the video is a great way to assist me growing the audience and giving me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or just leaving a comment gives me some additional feedback on how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.